Happy Wednesday, everybody. So tonight, the goal tonight is to kind of open your aperture to some of these, um, the three kamai that we've looked at so far in this section, Ishimoji, Rimanji, and, Ichi, and uh, Hoko. But then we start into playing some of these ken that we've been talking about, that we've been kind of going through verbally, and um, looking at them and how to use them, and how they basically can be intertwined with the kamai to produce results in various fashions. all right? So this is gonna be a lot of, a lot for you guys, like almost uh, exploratory. Like how can I hit a person? You know, where is a good place to hit a person with this, this type of Ken? Um, in most instances, you'll see that the Ken and the Kamai kind of flow together. In some, they won't. You'll get the Kamai and then you'll have to kind of pull off the shot with the Ken. So um, to start, and this is one of those things like, I'm not really gonna demo it, because if I demo it, you'll clearly just do exactly what I did. So what I want to do to start is I want you to partner up with somebody. I want you to look at, basically, we'll start with Ishimoji and a Fudo Ken. All right, what are all the different ways that you can get out of the way of like a right lunging grab that you can hit a person getting into Ishimoji with a Fudo Ken? All right, let's see what you find out. Let's start. All right, so, um, so why not? So he throws out a right. I'm assuming we all found this one, right? Okay, throws out the right again. We all found this one, correct? He throws out the right again. I'm sure we all found this one, correct? He throws out the right again. We all find this one. Yes, okay, good. He throws out that right again. We all find this one. Okay, he throws out that right again. We all find this one. Okay, all right. So we find most of them? All right, good. All right, now I'm gonna switch it up. Boshiken. Ishimaji Boshiken. Alright, good. Some some quasi like shoot fo papaken here. Well papaken, we've already just handled it. Shuto has a tendency to kind of come out and has this boom, cutting aspect to it. Papaken has it just comes out. It's here, it's almost like I'm going and all of a sudden I'm putting right there. And that's doesn't feel wonderful, it feels great to me. Alright? So if I'm coming around, he's throwing that punch up. That's a shoot up. That's a hapaka. All right. It's, the, it's a different delivery mechanism. There's a little click of that wrist that kind of comes in there, where that shoot kind of comes around from the elbow and extends the hand. The hapaka really kind of flicks out from the wrist. The striking surface of shoot as well is, is typically around here. Ken is down here. It, 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 it takes the hand out of the equation. If your hand is making contact, you might not be doing Hapa Ken. Right. I shoot toe into the side of his head here. Hapa Ken, almost like I'm coming in for shoot toe, but then I'm going to flick this bone and expose that to get him here. Boom, boom. All right, two different things. One, two. Okay? Neither one would feel great. That actually, this one feels worse, I think. Okay? So let's not mistake those two. It's the angle and the way you're hitting with. Here, almost be coming in like a shoot up, but I'm going to flip it to actually the top of Ken, which is this bone right here. Okay? Thank you for letting me use your neck for that. You always kind of dealing with straight shots. It can be delivered as a straight shot, but, uh, but really it's, it's helpful to have some circularity or angulature to what we're doing here with this particular Ken. If I'm just looking at this arm and trying to hit this way, I, I, it doesn't feel good, but I'm, I'm not really getting as much. But if we have just a little English on that, it's a bit of a different story. A little bit of English on this, bit of a different story. Uh, instead of, that, that's not really gonna, gonna go anywhere for me. Keep going. The, the way it's delivered matters. So again, he's coming in here like this, I'm coming in here, and I'm like, oh, I hit him with a hopkin. No, that's a shoot-up. That, that, that is a shoot-up. It's the aspect of this is this little kind of flick that gets into here. All right, now, also hopkin is also a, just, a, just like a slap straight to the head. All right, that works also. But this aspect here that we're talking about, it's not, I'm just taking and hitting him in here. Oh, I'm hitting that bone. No, that, that's, that's a shoot-up. All right, there's this aspect where, whoop, this is just coming right, being propelled out of my wrist towards his face. All right, here, shoot toe, up again. 
all right? I'm, I'm pushing this through almost with my hands kind of like leaving to get in there. Oh. All right, I'm not hitting like this. There is a lot of wrist aspects to this, all right? If I see a wrist that doesn't move, it's probably not a hopper gun. You're just making a shoe toe try to look like a hopper gun, all right? There is, oh, there is a aspect to it, all right? So please, let's, let's see some see some loose wrists out there. Do you, all, do you all see that this is a bit of a poppier hit? Yeah, much so. to a shove yeah. or, or, or anything of that nature. It's literally just pop and, and, and that's a pop. Keep, keep it that. Mm -hmm. Keep it that feeling. Mm -hmm. Pop up. Feet. Great place. Pop up with the hop up. Yeah. Three. Yeah. Matters. Oh, matters a lot. So Tom just sticks his hand out. If I come in with a hopper can like this, Notice my angle over here is kind of slide to line. Yes, it's not the greatest, but notice the angle. I want it to come straight perpendicular to that shot. It makes a difference, doesn't it? If I come into your face and I hit you like this, it's kind of not all the energy is going right into you. I want it straight into you. Same thing we see on this Kudo Ken. You know, if I'm hitting here, I'm not coming down. Now, that's not the greatest, it's not the funnest. I want that to be perpendicular to the target. Okay? So when, and this topic can trick because I can adjust this so I can actually have it come perpendicular. Alright? I don't want it's not coming like this. I want like this. It's coming boom, but it's hitting on a perpendicular path to the target that I want. Alright? Does that make sense? Yep. That's the way you're gonna deliver the most efficiency on that. Even on just like a chest hit. If I come it's not great. It's a little shock. Yeah. <laughs> but the angle makes the difference. Massively. So make sure when these hopper come in, that they're coming in perpendicular to that target and not scraping by them, okay? It will make a huge difference. Let's take a little detour because this one's so mixing some people. Grabbing. Don't take your hands off and hit him with the hopper gun. Right? Right there. There's the shot. Right? I'm going to take it, I'm going to, this is here, I'm going to put that hopper in this bone, right in here. And take that step back. All right, I'm not going to grab him and turn him, no, just hand flat. Okay, here we go. Okay. <laughs> then we can just go from there. So you get, and we don't even have to take the hands off them. All right, and that will give you the feeling of pushing that, that bone through into him. Because you're not going to have the option to do this. Or do this. Okay? Try that for a second. Give him that sense. Just from here, hands on. Poof. Push forward with that, with that hopper can, with that bone. And then go from there. Okay? Give it a shot. See if that gets a feeling in there a little bit more. Careful. Uh, when, you know, say, so say a right grab has come in and we've got to this point. If you're going to crush something or pinch something with, uh, with this con with this uh, can, we're not kind of letting the thumbs play out. We're not kind of doing this sort of Pac-Man, chuck, 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 that keeps talking, <laughs> sort of thing. That thumb, everything kind of comes yeah. in together, in together. Uh, that's going to be a, the pinching action we want to use. Up in here, pinching in together. Up under pet, pinching yeah. in. Uh, there's your action, not this. Mark, 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 mark. This is wrong. Keep going. <laughs> Oh, turn back. So, everyone can make this. So, it's, I'm not using my fingertips and grabbing in like this. All right? This is a flat surface right here. Boom. And then from here, I'm getting in. And really, the, really the compression is with these knuckles here. And I have a little bit. Now, I got a lot. That hurts. All right? This doesn't feel great. That hurts, all right? So when you're getting on these spots, it's, the fingertips aren't there. It's the, these knuckles and then that. All right, that's, that's the ripping, clawing aspect of it, okay? So make sure we're not, we're not giving him a little massage. All right, we're ripping his tech out. <laughs> okay, and you'll see it actually almost has a double chamber. It actually grabs on and actually makes a, makes a make the skin actually kind of come up into here and you have to get some more secure for it. Okay? Have fun! Doing a good job. I'm like seven levels deep on this. Uh, Mr. Will, say if I can borrow you. We'll say so. <laughs> so, so, so let's just take some. You can come back on in, guys. We're, we're going we're gonna to come over with this bicep. 
Oh, so in my last, this last week, right to the technique right there. You can see oh, all the right. Get your own out here. Okay. Very, very good. So, uh, so it's not fingertips in the sense that it, we're not kind of grabbing around a pipe. This isn't the shape of the grab. Uh, if I do that, what ends up happening is I end up with just like a little fingertip pinch, which can be painful. But, uh, but the actual action is to kind of compress these and come in. Now there's gonna be times when, say for example, I have my thumb, my thumb tip in here, my fingertips are doing this, but the, but the compression action is, uh, it's gonna stop here, so it's on the fingertips, but the feeling is trying to get this compression. It's like trying to pinch something between two rollers, as we mentioned over here. Anybody ever get, get like a, like have two opposing rollers and get your face, like get some skin caught in there? That, that's the idea, so say we're in on a neck, uh, yeah, my, my fingertip is, is, is doing the pressure, but I want this to ultimately feel like, like we're rolling in. As opposed to maybe a push, which is a bit of a different story. Uh, but this is, this is the action, however far it gets in that process based on what you're grabbing, well, that's gonna depend on, on what you've grabbed. Uh, but I want that, yeah, I want that monkey bite action. Yeah, and oh, we've now thought of this side. So it's, and, these, and these aren't just, we don't place these. This is a, that's a hit. You know, it's, we, these are planted in here and then, and then that's going in here. It's not like, no, this is a boom, like a suction, and then go. It's All a right. lot less coochie coo and a lot more Kalima. Yeah, yeah, that's very good, Miss Sillabe. Best one of the evening for us to, you know, Tighter spots, some can hit anywhere, some are more specialized. Right, then you talk about Shishin Ken, which only goes into orifices. All right, we'll look at that one on Saturday, so you can look forward to that. Uh, but for right now, let's actually look at a kata from Koto Ryu. All right, not the hardest kata in the world, but then we'll actually, what we'll do is we're going to switch some of the Ken and stuff like that up and switch some of the Kamai of it up to actually make it work. Very right, Barmas McDonald. So, this is called Kiyoki Resisting Technique. Okay, a um, little fancy forward, but it's not too bad. First thing's gonna be is there gonna be a right coming in. Yep, right punch is coming in. I'm actually gonna move over here with a Yoko Ruki. All right, and I'm actually gonna kind of trap this in. I'm not trying to back through, I'm gonna kind of trap this in. As the second punch comes in, boom, I'm hitting here, capturing this. Now I'm gonna do an Ihen coming in to trap her leg, with a Soki Ken and a Boshi Ken to her hip at the same time. And from there, I'm actually going to Toko Yoshi down on her. You have to worry about the Totoko Yoshi. All right, I'm not as concerned with that right now. I'm starting actually getting the positioning. So first one comes in, right comes in. Oh my God, second one comes in. And down. All right. The key is the, is the timing and the placement of the second part. So the first one comes in, it's like, oh my God, no. It's now we can hit the arm and go into it. I want it for you guys to be better than that. I want to see us just go right into this. I don't want it to be bash, go in. I want to be able to see you guys move, maybe hit, boom, and come right in here. All right? So I'm pushing on her hip. I'm actually pulling back on her arm and hyperextending her leg at the same time. So I'm actually holding her up for the second. From here, it would then be a Tatoko Yoshi down to this knee to bring her down. All right? Does everyone kind of see it? Anybody want to feel it? So right comes in. Oh my god, left comes in. Okay. Okay. Got it? Hey, Bell? Okay. You look like you have a note. No, I think we're gonna say the same thing. Uh, so let's let's drop the hip a little bit. Uh, one of the things that I'm seeing is I'm seeing folks kind of getting their feet tied up and they're sort of coming at this from the inside. If you kind of notice, uh, I don't really have him, and uh, and his weight's kind of on here. I'm trying to drive this, and, and really I, I'm gonna have a hard time. We might still get this trap from the inside, but really the, the scoop is we're gonna have to change things a bit. Uh, what if instead, ooh, we had a bit of a, we dropped our hip, ah, back to the outside, and now here we go. Now life gets a little bit easier. I'm seeing folks try to run it from the inside, and things are very different from the inside here. Does that make sense to everybody? 
Did you have anything to add, sir? It's going to say the same thing, just different words. Okay, very okay. good. We like words, you, you many go, words. Go into the Yoko Ruki. Come out of the Yoko Ruki. Okay, that, that's the footwork. All right, that's, that's what this was doing. Into the Yoko Ruki, out of the Yoko The reason why is because he throws his punch. I, I want that leg, right? That's, that's the goal. I want to try and get that leg. Well, if I'm really loose on this and he throws that punch, that's, oh, that's going to be tough to get. I want to control that a little bit more. So as he comes in, I, I actually can control myself right into it. No, I'm using his arm to wind myself to the leg. Do you see that? I'm actually, one, I'm actually pulling in this to let me know where I need to go. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, if his arm's out straight, I know that if I get thrown off to his arm, I'm right there. It has to happen. That's just pure body dynamics. Right? But if I'm loose on his arm and I step in, he just steps out and it's not going to be there. So I'm going to hold this arm in place. Maybe I can give it a pull and pull myself in so I can be right there. So we go into the Yoko Rupi. Out of the Yoko Rupi, we can pull ourselves right into that spot. Okay? So it's a lot of dynamic with that grabbing arm to be your alignment, right? That's why I don't have to see the length. Right? I mean, if I'm pulling this off in normal time, then, okay, shit, now I watch the leg. Okay, I'm not going to do that. That would just be stupid. I mean, yeah, I know where his leg is because I can tell where his shoulder is armored because I freaking have him. I have that side to be able to tell. Right? You see what I'm saying? All right, go for it. So, uh, Samante, quick note on the poker column. Am I already saying? Uh, so, we have the first attack coming in. Whoa. Now, let's come around this way and just watch out for the camera because like and subscribe, we want to make sure this looks good yes. on those things for you. Uh, if, uh, what, what I'm going to do right here is, is to begin, T-O-O, to beginner, uh, where I move laterally, that punch is coming in, I move laterally, and then I move in. We can kind of tell them a little bit behind the eight ball. But technically, I had the proper amount of sideways movement, I just didn't have progression. How much was I pulling on the arm? Not that much. Not that much. Now, uh, barely at all. Now, what happens when I try to move sideways, but I add this pull? It pulls me onto the hypotenuse of that triangle that we just drew. So, instead of doing A squared, then B squared, we're adding that pull and doing A squared. That makes us do C squared. Physics. Trigonometry. Trigonometry. <laughs> Yeah, a little Pythagorean theorem for everybody here today. So, yeah. So this pull helps helps get me in uh, in a more efficient way. Uh, just want to talk about drawing that line by using a pull with a lateral movement at the same time. Does that make sense? Cool. Very good. Go draw hypotenuses. Mass hypotenuses. As I go into the show, I'm still going to say square with him. I'm still going to say square. No, so I show it's pretty much just straight sideways. All right? As he comes into that second punch, I'm still going to say square. I'm going to change my angle to get in here, right? I'm not opening and closing up. Here. Yeah. Here. Yeah. 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 All right? Yeah. Very good. Very good. Square off. Yeah. All right? Which makes it a lot easier for me to find that triangle than ever having to re acclimate as I'm getting with me into this. I'm just angle, 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 Okay, do we see that? No more. Um, do that part. <laughs> Maybe the rest will come back to me. Okay. Woo! So the senior moment there for a minute. Weight shift. As this score sort comes in, fully weighted over here. All right, I'm seeing some people come out of this Yoko Ruki and they're keeping their weight on this foot. And so this, this isn't really coming back. They're kind of staying forward. Full, full, in. Okay? You're trying to keep, I keep this weight, but they're stepping out like this. And all your weight's here, so you're like, oh shit. Now you're having a tough time getting there. Full, full, in. Okay? That's good. All right, go ahead. Those, 
so those introduction of shock content. I don't know, I can hear in a different place and stuff like that, right under the back. Great one, you can still kind of pull off the same content. Okay, so let's actually mix this up a little bit. Let's actually let's take out, let's keep the first shock content, right? Put that wherever you want to. Um, second one, let's go. Shocker can put in a shikan shik can on the second one. Okay. So now, along with, uh, you can keep, uh, you can go back either the the uh, the grab, the shocker can, whatever you want on the first one. Same way you start. Are you coming back? Shocker can, push can, whatever you want on that. But with along with the soapy can and the knee, I actually want to start with the apple can. Actually, start with the apple can. Okay, go. Taking the reins off this. Quite a bit. Great jacket. Now remember, the only two things I'm really looking for, if we go back to the original thing, was as this come, coming in, I am square to her. Right? And as she comes back out, I am square to her on this leg coming through. Right? I'm going in square, coming out square, going behind her. Leg happens to be in the way. All right, so now I'm gonna switch this to Jumanji. Now I could do this Jumanji with here, still square to her. All right, she comes in with that hit, still fat. Still do the same thing. If she comes in again, I could actually move over here, still square to her. She comes with that second punch. I'm still here. If she comes in again, I may actually go here. I switch my feet around. She comes in with that second punch. I'm still here. All right, so what I'm looking for is that squareness in the beginning and that movement off to the side to get by her with that leg trap if can be. All right, if not, don't worry about it, but I'm looking for that angle and this angle. All right, I don't care about your footing. I don't care about anything like that. I'm trying to free you up a little bit, which this is the hard part, okay? Because you're getting away from the described action, but you can still tell all those were the same kata, right? Mm -hmm. It was all the same thing. The, the flow and the movement and the essence was still there. That's what I'm going for. Can you give me the essence in different come up? Yeah. All right? Go. Yes, Ma, I know. <laughs> yeah, quite, quite a few like little options and changes. And when you start changing the, the cat and you start changing the come a little bit, yeah, it can have it can have some significant effects in terms of how you feel doing the kata. Um, any thoughts, questions?
Surveys to people. Have you ever had a chance to do it? I know. I think. I think. I. Saw, I could tell you. Yeah. I could tell. I'm like, that's Kyle. I'm like, I read it because they don't come in. I can't see who the names are. But I read it. I'm like, I know that's Kyle and I'm like, there's no doubt about it in the world. So I know you did it. Um, but you did all my things. So I'm not <laughs> and um, but if you yeah, haven't got it, please take the time to fill it out and to answer like seven or eight questions. And um, I just want to know like if there's any major changes that we should make into the dojo you know, for 2023. And um, we actually do listen to and implement feedback. So the more this feedback, one time a year, this <laughs> one, yep. this one time, this is your one time. Yeah. yeah. The, uh, what, what, what was it? You'd be surprised at how often sometimes a lot of students can all be on the same page with one thing and that gives us uh, some good evidence. Yeah, it does. Um, so yeah, please, and if you haven't sent anyone, please let me know and I'll get it back after. Other than that, we good? All right, guys, see you Saturday. Oh, yes. Christmas is on a Saturday this year, right? Or Sunday this year? Is it? I don't know. I think I Christmas is on Sunday. I don't pay attention to Christmas. I, want, I just want to train. I'm just, I'm just kidding. I totally pay attention to Christmas. I got two kids. You have no choice. <laughs>